Greetings and salutations, this is the glorious Emperor Art of Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hi, can I have again awesome intro? Uh, okay, let's try again. This is the glorious Emperor Art of Vespasian and his equally awesome trusty sidekick. Well, that's better, okay. Hello. Where did trusty sidekick come from anyway? Uh, we just made it up. Oh, we just made it up. Oh, okay. We're halfway through a channel, like, you know what, I need a name. No, how about trusty sidekick? You know what, fine, let's go for that. Well, it's quite good because I'm the Emperor of Vespasian, and so, and you're the son of God. So, that's all right. That works out. Read your history books. Um, right, Vespasian was awesome. Uh, anyway. No, um, Nero well, Prowler. Nero's bad. Well, my law says Nero was awesome. Mm -hmm. I think Nero was awesome, but Vespasian was even more awesome because he was the first Roman Emperor who was a normal person YouTube, who became emperor. YouTube, we have arguments on Twitter about that. <laughs> we, Twitter, Twitter. Um, Twitter. They... Um, yeah, Vespasian was the first ever um, man, normal man to be made emperor, and he became a god, which was great, because all emperors became gods, deal with it. Uh, so, this is a video about uh, our Russian um, army, uh, continuing the videos on our Russian army, which we've been having fun with recently. Um, we are making a series of videos on each unit we've got in our bolt action armies, with an idea of telling you what our ideas are. Uh, of how to use them in battle, if you get what I mean. Do you get what I mean? I do, yeah. I do, well you do, so hopefully someone out there does. I love you, of course I do. Um, the Quad AA, which is what this is. This is a um, Quad AA machine gun. It's uh, basically four uh, 7.92 machine guns nailed together on a piece of wood and mounted on the back of a truck in order to create an anti-aircraft gun. Um, anti-aircraft guns very important to bolt action because if the enemy has an, has an aircraft you need to shoot them down because they come and attack you and stuff and it's not very pleasant. We mainly use planes against planes. Yeah. Uh, some dog fights going on. The best thing to do really in a game of bolt action is to have something like this because that gives you four MMG uh, mounted on the back of a truck which gives you... It's not really anti-aircraft gun is it? It gives you 16 dice to shoot at people with with a range of 36 inches. So, I guess it's really hard to hit a plane. That's really awesome. Yeah, it's hard to hit a plane, mm -hmm. yeah. But we have 16 chances. Yeah, but we're not talking about a plane, we're talking about shooting people as well. Because it's, it's a useful vehicle all around. Yeah, when people say that anti jack guns are only used for an, 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 an aircraft, they can also be used better on infantry. And tanks, they're high velocity shells. Uh, the Germans found that out with the 88. The 88 was never built as an anti-tank anti 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 gun, but it is the world's most famous anti-tank gun. Now we 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 learned it, and we 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 learned it by on Battle of Britain when we fired our sh our, our aircraft guns and we killed civilians from the shells la landing. Oh yeah, the sh the, the, the yeah, yes. m m a lot of casualties during the Blitz were not caused by German bombs because most people were in shelters. It was caused by shrapnel. Uh, the bomb, the the, bomb the, fire the actual shots you're firing into the air were coming down and hitting people. Um, That's sort of stopped doing me. it and they used empty shots. They fired blanks, yeah. Which made the Germans go, ooh, we're No, it made civilians think we were firing back. Um, wow. In reality, wow. we couldn't hit the German planes. So too high, too too high, high, up. high up. So we, we used, um, um, we, we, we fired blanks basically. And so uh, when you hear all the guns going off in the Blitz, people think, hey, we're firing back at the Germans. Just in, down. in reality, most of the planes that were crashed were shot down by the RAF, the fighters. Which is how we could send fighters in during anti-aircraft gunfire. Because, because we knew we knew we weren't firing and it, our planes were safe to operate in the air. We weren't going to be hit by our own anti-aircraft fire. Yep. Whereas the Germans did get hit by their own anti-aircraft fire. <laughs> because they did actually fire anti-aircraft shells. Um, so, uh, this is an anti-aircraft gun mounted on the back of a gas truck. Um, it's an interesting one because it's probably one of the simplest Russian type of ideas of just getting a truck and fitting a gun to the back of it. Um, and it's, aiming it up. They did nothing special, they didn't invent a special, I mean the, the Germans said we need to fit a cannon on the back of a truck. They designed a special type of truck with a special type of shell body and armour and a special type of webbing to go around the edges to catch the shells and a special type of everything and it cost a fortune to produce and they only produced 3,000 of them or whatever and... and Whereas the Russians just got a truck and put a gun on it. This is just straightforward thinking by the Russians. Um, don't mess around, don't over-engineer anything, just do it. Did it help German over? Yeah, and um, they, they came in handy. They were originally used during the, um, the, 
the communist war, the, the, the civil war. Um, they mounted trucks with machine guns on the back. Uh, and they came in handy for shooting down um, the string bag aircraft that were flying around at the time. Uh, later on in the Spanish Civil War, this, the both sides used uh, trucks with machine guns mounted on the back to good effect. Uh, because not only was it a mobile machine gun, um, you have high walls and the truck can park next to the wall, fire over the top of the wall because it's on the back of a truck. Uh, but the truck itself is in cover behind the wall. It's, uh, oh, read a book. Uh, so in the game of bolt action, it's a dual purpose weapon. It can be used to fire as an anti-aircraft gun. It can also be used to fire as a ground target. Um, do you know the British two pound, uh, 40 millimeter anti-aircraft gun, the Bofors? Mm-hmm. You know the, the two pound anti-aircraft gun that we've yeah, we've seen it. Yeah, the ones that was in well, you've seen a real one. Yeah. Um, the ones that the British used in their tanks. Yeah. Um, that was originally an anti-aircraft gun. It was designed as an anti-aircraft gun, and they just became Cooked an anti-aircraft like gun. Uh, as well. Yeah. Uh, the German eighty-eight was an anti-aircraft gun. The German long seven, the, the special, the long seventy-five, uh, was a anti-aircraft gun originally. Uh, converted to fire on the uh, in in the place of the fifty millimeter anti-aircraft gun on the Panzer threes. Um, the Panzer is it Panzer three or Panzer Panzer four? The Panzer four special. Is it Panzer three? Oh God, my brain's melting. It was the specials. It was the Panzer. It was what people call the Panzer four F two or the Panzer Panzer G. Uh, there was no such thing as a Panzer four F two. It was never a designation, and neither was there ever a Panzer G. Um, all they were were normal tanks that the crews would get a gun, a kit. They would be sent a kit from the factory, uh, which would take the 50mm gun out, or the 75mm howitzer out, and they would fit in a long 75, which was a high calibre anti aircraft gun, and use it as an anti tank gun. But you didn't know that. Have I just taught you something? Yeah. Yeah. The Germans' le- uh, legal and technical name for them was the Special. So they were the Pan- Panzer Special. It wasn't a pa- it never had a name. It never had a designation. The rule books are always full of. They want to name everything. It's a pan- it's a G. It's an A. It's a D. Most of these were just factory names, and and, and a lot of them were just added after the war for war gamers. Um, the, the Germans weren't that complicated. They, they used to just do stuff in the field, and if it worked, other people did it too. But hey, I've got totally off track. Yeah, I was about um, to say the exact same thing. But yeah, uh, I like this vehicle because it, it does give the Russians um, added firepower. And we do use a lot of aircraft and it comes in handy. Uh, the downside to this, which is a benefit for the Russians, is that I don't have many aircraft for my Chinese army. And I mainly find you, fight your Russians. Whereas your Russians do have lots oh, of aircraft. Well, and I have no anti-aircraft stuff. I only have uh, light machine guns I can use as anti-aircraft. So you yeah, you are yeah, overpowered. The upside you have is that your planes are way, 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 way better than my planes because your planes are actually engineered properly. Mine are just spam, spam make in a factory. That's oh, not for the Chinese because the Chinese use Russian planes. Oh yeah, sold them then the Chinese, the you, yeah. yeah, you did. You personally sold them then. Yeah, the, the Russians no, sold... I sold as a day sold them. Yeah. Um, even, they were even um, supplying the Chinese with aircraft and, and vehicles while they were at war with China. Yeah. So at one end of the border you had Russian trains taking Russian kit to, to, the, to the Chinese army. And at the other side of the border the Russians and Chinese are fighting each other. And then you had America say St. Thompson's Germany. Well, they sell Thompsons to everybody. Uh, Thompsons were... Uh, uh, most of their sales were from Germany. Yeah, their, Germany was their biggest market. Um, uh, Soon to know they were going to war with them later on. Yeah, but, oh, by then the, the, the Thompsons had stopped working that they sold to the Germans. <laughs> um, but the, uh, yeah, Thompsons were sold to everybody. They, they, they were, people just loved Thompsons, they were awesome. Um, the Russians liked them so much they created their own version, which was... Um, I think it was Tokarov made it, um, or Tokarov, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, they made a version of the Thompson, um, very much like the PPSH, uh, but it, it looks like a sort of slightly smaller version of the Thompson, uh, because it fired small ammunition, but other than that. Anyway, we're getting off track again, so stop doing that. 
Yeah, so, in bolt action, I would say if you have a Soviet army, definitely get a truck with a machine gun in the back. Um, I don't have the French book, but I'm sure I read something in the French book about... You can have it on the, in the early French army as well. Something like this. Um, I'm sure I read it in the French book. Sorry, it's in the other room at the moment, and I'm in the wrong room, and I've only just thought of it. Um, so, yeah, it should be quite good. It'd be interesting to use. Um... Ideas on your tactics for it? Now I used it. Mm -mm. Oh, you've never used this one, have you? No, 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 has, no. I think. Um, okay, so uh, mobile machine gun in a truck, very useful. Go buy one immediately. Um, you can actually buy this, buy something like this from uh, Warlord. Um, uh, there is, I believe, this is not actually in the Soviet rulebook. I can't remember how I put it together. Uh, so it'll put you about 54 points according to this card. I can't remember doing the card. Um, I would assume that would simply be a truck plus gun cost, um, I'm guessing. Uh, it has flak special rule, so it's anti-aircraft, uh, and it's effectively four, ma four MMGs mounted on a vehicle. And it's fixed. Other than that, that's, that's all the rules for it. So I would assume it's quite a useful well, I am have. playing uh, Russians for a while now, so... Well, now, now gonna... you are playing Russians fully, because I'm going to be playing Polish from now on. Yeah. So until we'll we start doing the Chinese and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we'll go Japanese Army on the go. Which is my which, best army. <laughs> yes, which will be our next project, but I'm, I am begrudged to push forward with my Japanese Army until... My Japanese Army. Your, your Japanese Army. I know, the Japanese are my army. Alright, fine, whatever. Well, you're, you're the Chinese, that's <laughs> why I did yours first. Fine, 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 whatever. Um, so, yeah. We've got roads. So, when we finish doing that, we're going to do other stuff. Up there, there. Um, and we have some British on their way as well. So, yes. that'll be interesting. Um, luckily, I don't need much kit for the British. So, <laughs> because the British didn't have any tanks. So. No, no. We'll left them all, don't get No, Malaya. We didn't use tanks. Because we couldn't. the British War Office said, hey, why would you use tanks? There's jungle and stuff. And it turned out you could use tanks, and the Japanese had lots of tanks, and we had no anti tank guns. So we lost. Even though we outnumbered the Japanese 4 to 1, we still lost. Oh, pathetic. Right, that ends the video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I, I think we sort of discussed it. Um, we, you will be seeing this in our next game. Um, we're going to be doing a bot action game which is going to be an interesting one involving partisans and um, a serious battle. So, um, don't worry, no, I know what's going on right now. Oh, I do, I do. Just, just come on, I've told you about see, it, you just don't see, listen. See, things pop in his head, I ain't got time one until we pass to it. No, you don't listen. No, well, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, tell, I tell other people, I just forget to tell you. It's <laughs> quite like Oh, yeah, yeah, the person who, you know, most of the play in the game, yeah, you yeah, don't tell. Yeah. Yeah. Right, end of this video, you do your talkie talkie thing at the end and then I go away. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if you like the anti aircraft gun and if you think that you that it would help me against his nasty 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 Polish. Well that's not very nice. You're the one invading me. Mm -hmm. I'm the innocent party here. Hey, you're quite you. Right. Okay, so that's the end of the video. It's goodbye from me. And goodbye from him. Good day. See ya.